welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by if you are new welcome make sure you stop what you're doing hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell i upload videos three times a week on tuesdays fridays and sundays at four also make sure you follow me on instagram in today's video i am going to be trying a new technique these are called milk bath nails i've been doing a lot of research um, i watched ivy's video and i figured that i would try it out myself so i hope that you guys enjoy i did link all of the tools and materials that i use down in the description box i ordered these dried flowers from amazon so make sure you check the description box before you ask any questions because I promise everything will be linked below. So I'm starting just by fouling the top of my natural nails to get the shine and the gloss off of them. Some people like to manually foul but I like to use my drill just because it's much faster. I use it on a light speed and then I follow up with my cuticle pusher by going through and pushing all of my nails back. You guys will see that my right hand is already done. I am right handed but I'm pretty good with doing things with my left hand and on this particular day I decided to do my right hand first. I'm using these clear false nails. These are from Amazon. I absolutely love these tips. They are my favorite tips. They have the perfect shape. They're the perfect length and I use them for almost all of my sets. And I'm also using the KDS nail glue. I've already pre-sized my fingers, so I'm just showing you guys that I make sure the tips fit my finger perfectly. Everyone has different size fingers, so that means that sometimes you'll have to file the sides down or cut the sides down, but you want to pay close attention and make sure that each nail tip fits your finger perfectly. It's also very hard to make sure that the nail tips are straight. So um, make sure you're taking a step back, you're taking a second look, and making sure that all of your tips are on straight. That way you won't have any crooked nails when your set is done. So now I'm going back in with the drill. I'm going to make sure it's a seamless transition between my actual nail bed and the tips. Some people also like to manually file this, but I'm fine with using the drill. I follow up by using my Mia Secret Nail Prep. This is a dehydrator. I put an even layer on my nail only. And then I follow up by using the Mia Secret Primer. Y'all, that extra bronze primer is so bomb. My nails don't lift at all. My nails, <laughs> my nails don't lift at all. I put an even thin layer and I absolutely love it. Following up with the Mia Secret Monomer, the Mia Secret Pink Acrylic Powder, and the Mia Secret Frosted Pink, which is really like a milky white acrylic. Obviously, I swear by Mia Secret products. Absolutely love them. Like I said earlier, everything will be linked down below in the description box. So make sure you check those links if you have any specific questions around what I use. So y'all, clearly I was feeling myself on this day. I was feeling really creative. Y'all know I'm a self-taught person. I don't do nails or anything. I just do my own nails. And I wanted to try something different. I started by putting a thin layer of the white acrylic on my nail and just kind of picking up the dried flowers and putting them on there. These are called milk bath nails. Um, and obviously everything is going to be encapsulated but I love the freedom and the creativity of this set. It's a total freestyle. I've been loving flowers and planting lately, especially with everything that's happening in the world. It's been my little bit of peace. So I might as well be a little extra and throw some flowers on my nails. Um, this was really time consuming y'all. This whole set took me probably about two hours which is not terrible, but it is kind of time consuming. So in this clip, you'll see that I'm adding the thin layer of white. You really just need a thin layer because you don't want your nails to be bulky like my ring finger. And then you just add the flowers. The monomer is going to help you pick up the flowers. The monomer is also going to help the flowers stick. 
this is my own technique I've seen a thousand different ways you can do this some people like to cut everything up into small pieces some people like to use tweezers the brush was just fine for me but after I put that flower on I put a little bit more of the um, white acrylic and then I put a little bit more flowers and then a little bit more white acrylic and then obviously once you're done you'll want to encapsulate the nail which means you'll want to cap it with clear so sorry this is out of focus y'all but hopefully by watching and listening you'll understand exactly what I'm doing all right now that that's over i'm gonna take my drill change the bit out and i'm gonna smooth everything out the most important part of this whole set is making sure that you cap your nail with the clear if you don't i promise you you will drill every single flower off um y'all see how much dust that is that's <laughs> so crazy um, but yeah, I'm just going through all of my nails. I'm smoothing them out. I'm putting the sander back on. I'm going back in and smoothing them out again. Now this is my least favorite thing to do, but one of the most important. Y'all, I have to get my shape together, so I take a really long time in fouling, and then I buff everything out to make sure my nails are seamless before I head to the bathroom and wash my hands. Last but not least, I am topping my nails off with this Top It Off Top Gel by Beatles. I don't like this, so I don't plan on repurchasing. If you have any suggestions of top gel to use, please leave it down in the comment section below. I cure my nails for 60 seconds, and as you can see, we're all done. I absolutely positively love this set. It was such a freestyle and just a creative set. Um, you can see that the flowers underneath my nails show, which I love so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, peace.